I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. And what I want, what I woke up with on my spirit this morning, is when it comes to people talking about you in life, or talking about me in life, it don't really bother me because me having a disability that that's what comes with it. Whether you realize or not having a disability, and God bless you with a good mind. People are going to automatically put it on your disability that you don't have a good mind and you're going to deal with people that are ignorant. It's just part of life. So for me, I can't build in with it. It don't really bother me. It don't really get to me. It don't really, like, phase me because I've always been a nonchalant kid. And that's just part of my personality. Nothing really phases me unless you get to one of my family members or talk about one of them. And then my protective instinct kick in and I feel like I have to say something or I have to do something. And that's what really gets me to getting upset. And I know I shouldn't be that way, but that's the way I honestly operate. Like, you can talk about me all you want, but if you talk about or attack somebody I love, I feel like I have to keep going until I say something back or until I get you back in some type of way. And I don't stop till I say, till I either say something hurtful or do something to hurt the person that hurt my people. But that's the only time I get aggravated. Other than that, I'm the coolest, chillest person you ever met. I don't really let a lot get to me because don't nothing get to me. Because honestly, with my headphones on, I be in my own world. I don't really let my emotions get to me. I've always been able to master my emotions. Well, now I'm starting to master my emotions. When I was younger, my emotions led me and my emotions made me all over the place. But that's one thing I had to learn to master. If I'm going to be a grown man, you got to learn how to take control of your emotions. You got to learn what your emotions, what are your emotions tied to? What's causing you to have that emotion? What's causing you to have that reaction? And you got to work on it. And you got to understand yourself to understand your emotions. You got to understand what that emotion is tied to. You got to go back in your childhood trauma and work on your emotions and understand what causes your triggers. What make you have that reaction to that certain thing? What make you feel that way when you hear that certain song or that certain, or hear that certain person's voice or that certain reaction? You got to figure out what causes what. Go back to the root of it and solve it. That's the way you bring yourself peace in life. If you don't never go back to the root of what caused it, you can never solve it or never get over it. It's going to always bother you. That's something I learned about life. You have to dig back in yourself and go back to the root cause of what started it. You have to find out what was that first pain that triggered it, that caused you to feel that way. And for some people, you have to go back and get a therapist and let them hypnotize you and go back to the beginning. Or if you like me, you can be strong enough and just confront it. Because pain is always going to be there. Emotions are always going to be there. But you got to be able to push through them emotions and confront it. And that's something I'm strong enough to be able to do now. And I do proudly. I can go through my emotions and figure out what triggered me and solve it within an instant now. Nothing really phases me anymore. My emotions really never, really never is a problem for me anymore now. It's easy for me to go in my emotions and solve why I do something or why I don't do something and figure out what causes me to have that emotion or what causes me to have that reaction. I honestly done solved my life. I done solved my reason for being. I done solved my reason for who I am, why I am, where I am, and how I get better. And I work on it every day. I'm never done. I'm always trying to push myself to find ways to become better 
and getting deeper into myself to get to know who I want to become and what do I got to do to take the steps to become that person. And I'm working on those steps every day I wake up, meditating and getting back into my meditation because sometimes I fall off the bandwagon with that more than I should. I woke up today, and that's what I reminded myself of, and that's what I'm getting back into, getting back deep into my meditation and getting back into the things that got me started and just keeping it going. And that's the thing you have to remind yourself to do because when you get to a certain point in meditation and you get to a certain strength level, you get in the mindset that you don't need to do it as often. And that's the biggest trap you can set yourself up for. You need to do it every day and you need to stay consistent with it. Consistency is the key to happiness. And it's the key to your meta it's the key to your strength and spirituality to me. You have to meditate. You have to stay in meditation and you have to do the things that brought you here and keep them going constantly if you want to be a success in this spiritual thing. From my opinion and my thoughts about my life and what makes me happy within spirituality, it's the thing I started to do. It's the thing I constantly do, but I do off and on, and I need to be more consistent about doing Meditation is key. Listen to daily affirmations is key. Listen to stuff that motivates you every day is key. It keeps it going. It keeps that momentum. It keeps that belief. It keeps that drive. It keeps that heart. But like I said in my last video that I'll be releasing today, unlocking my opinion is the greatest thing I ever did because it helped me see my life for what it truly is. And it helped me understand why I am who I am, what my shortcomings were, why they were, eliminate the reason why they were, and help me, imp help me improve into the man that I'm growing into. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud of what I'm accomplishing. I'm proud of what I'm becoming because I feel like I'm changing everything for everybody, including myself. I'm walking into an era in a decade that I've never seen before. I'm doing the same things that I never thought I would say, and I'm more confident and comfortable than I ever have been in my life, and I'm looking forward to just continuing the process and continuing to push myself to go to higher places and continue to say and confront things that I've never confronted before because I'm more confident in my gift than I ever have been. But it all comes with work. It didn't come overnight. It's been a year, years and years of a process, going through emotions, working through pain, developing my skills and developing my willpower and developing everything that I believe in over time. It's a hell of a process. But if you can work yourself through it, you will find more strength inside yourself than you ever knew was possible. I promise you that in my opinion, but that's just my opinion though.